Welcome into the fast break here on Inside the Auburn Tigers. Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy from Inside the Auburn Tigers Magazine Newsletters and AUTigers.com. Mark, and uh, this Auburn Arena, quiet now, but boy, it was raucous. It was loud and uh, for good reason. As Mark wasn't even close to the best game we've seen this Auburn team play this year, but they willed their way and gutted their way to a, to a big win over Kentucky to uh, to keep that stranglehold on first place in the SEC. Yeah, I used the word grit in the headline on the game story tonight, Jason, and that's what they did. They showed true grit, although they certainly didn't shoot the ball well, except at the foul line, which has been a trademark of this team. When Auburn had that lead with four minutes left, Jared Harper goes to the foul line with 357. I figured this game was over because Kentucky was going to have to foul Auburn, and Auburn was going to make their foul shots. They got the ball in the hands of the guys that can make it, uh, including Deshaun Murray, and uh, you know they put the game away on a night they didn't play well. And look, they just shot 36.7% from the field, which is way off their normal game. They're 8 of 27 for three, which is below their normal average, especially in SEC play. Kentucky shot 46.3%, but a big stat, Auburn turned the ball over just seven times, Kentucky 14, Auburn had nine steals. Yeah, I mean, Mark, you look at it, and um, the numbers may not make sense in some of those things when you look at the shooting percentage, but it shows you how important those other stats are. But defensively, Auburn really got after Kentucky, uh, really active in the passing lanes, uh, batted down a lot of balls. And uh, John Calipari, after the game, was talking about it. He said, look, a lot of those those 50-50 balls Auburn got, and, and that was really the difference in this game, Mark. They, they were able to get those balls, and you look at, at a guy like Anthony Mack, Lamore inside, Mark. Uh, not only the job he did, rebounding, blocking shots, knocked down a couple of big threes outside. Jared Harper, 18 points, seven assists, only two turnovers against that long, athletic Kentucky team. And then Mark Bryce Brown, um, the guy that, that didn't think he was going to play before this game started. His shoulder was really sore, went out and gutted it out. And, you know, you, you could tell he was a little stiff early on, but once a couple of those shots went down, well, Bryce was into it. He was into it defensively the whole time. And Bruce Pearl said after the game, said, I don't think we win it without him. Yeah, Bryce played very well on defense, which is something he takes a lot of pride in. And Well, I thought McLemore played maybe his best game, Jason. In addition to, uh, uh, you know, his double-double tonight, he had three steals, two block shots. So I mean, that's a heck of a, a line right there. He played 30 minutes. He was 4-7 or seven from the field, 2-3 or three on three-pointers, 3-4 three or four at the free throw line, 11 rebounds, 5 offensive, 6 defensive, uh, 13 points, one assist, and the three steals, two blocks. So that's that's pretty good. It is, and you know, you look at it, Marka. Uh, this is a game that you know we keep saying this over and over again, but it's the makeup of this team. It's what they do. It's what they've done all year long. They find a way to win games. This is a game that the last couple of years Auburn doesn't win. Uh, but not only do they win this game, they win it by 10. Uh, keep that two-game lead over Tennessee in the league. Georgia wins that Florida three-game lead over Florida, and by virtue of Auburn's win over Tennessee, now basically the Tigers have a, a three game lead in the SEC race with five to go. Uh, pretty good spot to be in for Coach Bruce Pearl and the Auburn Tigers. This is Jason Caldwell and Mark Murphy inside the Auburn Tigers.